Hey there and welcome to simplycanning.com where you can find safe home food preservation articles, classes, and tutorials to help you fill your pantry. Today I'm going to answer a question that I received in my inbox that was a different question and something that I have a feeling maybe more of you are wondering about because it's something that I've actually dealt with myself. So this is regarding canning meat. Let me go ahead and read you Kristen's question. She says, I have a question for you, Sharon. I've always hot packed meat, but processing venison yesterday, I did my first canner full of cold packed meat. I've put off cold pack because I can never seem to find the answer to this. If your meat is refrigerator cold, so that's not just room temperature, that's like out of the fridge, do you still proceed with cold pack canning or do you warm it up a bit? I'm afraid cold meat is just gonna break my jars and most cold packing articles are using freshly processed meat or the meat temperature isn't specified from what I can tell, thanks. So that is really a good question and it's something that I deal with all the time because I will often, when we're processing an elk or a deer, we're busy and sometimes I'll just cube up the meat ready for canning but then I put it in my freezer. I get it out another day when I have more time and then I process it. And so yes, when you thaw out that meat, it's very, very cold. Or if you're just taking meat out of the refrigerator, it's very, very cold. The National Center for Home Food Preservation doesn't really mention meat temperature when it's going into the jar. But there is a difference between raw pack and hot pack, or Kristen uses the term cold pack, right? Let me look here. Yes, she uses the term cold pack, which basically is the same as raw pack. Cold pack doesn't mean not processing, it just means putting the food in the jar without cooking it first. Hot pack, you cook, you cook the food first and then put it in your jar. So, you have a hot canner, you have hot jars because you're warming them up in your canner and then you have this cold meat. What do you do? What I do personally is I warm up that meat just a little bit. Now you don't want to cook it because if you cook it you need to add liquid. I like to do the raw pack because I don't add any liquid. When you're raw packing you put the meat in the jars, you put your lids on and you process it. There's no liquid added. But when you hot pack or you cook it first you do have to add liquid. So there's a balance there. I don't want to put cold meat in my jars, but I want a raw pack. So what I do is I put my meat in a pan. I just get a stock pot and I put my meat in there and I just pour some warm water over it. I then proceed to get the rest of my canning supplies out. I get out my canner, my lids, my jars and all of that, start warming them up. By the time I have everything out, my meat has warmed up just a little bit. It's not cooked, but it has warmed up a little bit. And then I can go ahead and put, um, put that in the jars with the hot jar and the hot canner and we're fine. So you wanna shoot for, I mean, there's not a specific temperature that's given, but you wanna get close to room temperature, maybe a little bit colder than that, but about room temperature is what you want because you're just trying to reduce that thermal shock between cold meat and hot jars and canner. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope that you will visit me at simplycanning.com where I can help you learn how to home can and other food preservation techniques and get you filling your pantry. You guys have a wonderful day.